hi people welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to look at uh, digital tools for m1e uh, you can use in uh, sustaining your projects yeah just to set uh, i'm a new consultant no expert specialist i'm nakato farida if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe share and like the videos so let's get right into it what are some of the digital tools we use for m and &E in uh, sustaining our projects yeah we have uh, some uh, uh, samples of the digital tools uh, under some we can use for data collection we have one is called Tola data builder Tola data builder is a, a web-based uh, platform where you can uh, build your reports and project from scratch you can uh, do your results framework your m and &E framework you can uh, uh, it has a uh, customized uh, templates for data collection which you can use to collect your data real time online analyze it real time and online and also be able to share reports to your project stakeholders or donor so that's all the data you can go to the web, web site and check it out then you have the odk based ecosystem this is also data collection tools these data collection tools are all online collection tools that work in a similar way where you can uh, go create uh, your online questionnaire or tool you can share it anywhere remotely anyone anywhere in the world can access it and you can be able to easily collect your data your data is secure your data is uh, collected in real time and easily access it and analyze it then we have Timaji it's also a data collection tool Koboko toolbox uh, this is also very common uh, most of you may know it survey CTO survey monkey mom page social cops iPhone builder Tarawaks, Google Forms and EpiCollect 5. So these are some of the real-time digital tools you can use for collecting your data. Some work with apps, some are just web-based, so you can just share a link to your uh, respondents and they can be able to reply to your surveys. Yeah, and you can be able to collect that data in real time and uh, removing the, the collection, maybe fees, transport and entry. Yeah, so that's the importance of, of us using our digital tools. In uh, M1E, it makes our work more efficient and more effective, and also to be able to share it real time. Then, uh, man in management and reporting, still you, have, you can use solar data to manage and report on your, on your work. It has a, an inbuilt data analysis system which you can uh, use to analyze the results and also report on them. Then, we have Logoto, we have the results, uh, we have activity info. You have Google Sheets, you can also analyze your data and manage and report in it. And you can also use Excel to analyze and report on your data. Yeah, so also Koboko Toolbox has an inbuilt an, an in uh, uh, Koboko Excel analyzer, which you can use to analyze your data, visualize your data, and report on it. Then in advanced uh, analysis, uh, we use uh, Power BI. Tableau, if you're looking at uh, correlations, square squares, uh, if you're a researcher, yeah, and you want to do some adverse analysis, these are some of the softwares you can use. Yeah, there are also digital tools, Tableau, Power BI, Superset, SPSS, Tata, Zoho, and uh, R. Yeah, all those are softwares you can use yeah, to analyze your data and report on it. Yeah. So why do we use digital tools for M and E? One is to improve uh, data quality. Uh, <clears throat> notice that uh, when you collect your data online, you can be able to validate it online very well. Remove any missing things. You can be able to know whether this data was collected from this particular location. It was just in inputted. So actually what? Validating your data. And uh, you can also be able to improve on its quality that when you remove any errors that have been in the data, then by the time you're going to process it, it's actually very clean rather than the, uh, the typical old uh, traditional way we've been using, collecting 
to collect data where you use questionnaires, go to the field, blast, and can get lost, blah, blah, yeah, but here your data is actually secured in a system you can always easily access online. Then to help us automate our data processing, yeah, so in uh, 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 Dictator Tools help us automate uh, data processing where you can uh, actually uh if you maybe use like SETA or Otola data still you can uh uh customize your 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 windows or, or, or templates to actually do calculations for you automa automatically do aggregate analysis for you automatically visualize for you just by you uh writing commands in particular software so SETA uses that a lot yeah then it gives us also helps us to get real-time insights real-time insights as, as, as i mentioned earlier uh with one of the tutorials like solar data you can uh, and also yeah odk and uh koboko toolbox you can do your data uh your data analysis real time it actually can summarize for you some simple analysis reports so whenever you want to your boss is around there and you want to show them some real-time data from what is being collected to the in the field that uh, the software can actually do that then it can help us connect easily with the remote locations where i am in kampala and need data from uh respondents in Barara. i can actually just use the applications if you collect five has uh koboko toolbox has applications so how can use google forms to collect that data from anywhere around the world and just send that data to any person you may want to target and then you can easily connect to them and get your data at your desk for analysis yeah and then it helps us to implement our best practices so digital tools can guide our teams in how data is collected managed and analyzed to ensure practice processes uh, throughout yeah so to implement our best practices here we you already have uh you can uh, have a guide whether in one of the software as i mentioned about anywhere anything either for data collection or analysis or management or reporting where you know that this is how you're going to be collecting our data maybe using uh either forms or odk or koboko toolbox and then this is how we are going to actually be analyzing our data you can use the excel analyzer or sheets or SATA or spss any of the softwares and then and this is how actually we are going to be managing that our data using maybe this so it's a whole process to so develop in that breaks practices in your organization that this is actually we are going to be using for our uh, data collection and analysis and reporting as uh, m1e experts you actually need that you need uh, various skills in uh, various softwares as a changing world very many different organizations use different tools and uh, software so you need to learn a variety then help us in our knowledge management and data retention yeah when you use our digital tools ensure that, that our data is uh, stored centrally and readily available to all staff during the project long after it has uh, ended so since these are addictive tools most of, the, most of them are, uh, are google based data is always there in the cloud so you can actually retain your data and knowledge and anytime you have you want to access it whether the project has ended after 10 years you can actually really access it yeah so that's the importance of us having our digital tools for m and e yeah and uh, just today in today's video i'm going to look at shortly uh, about how we can uh, use uh, google forms as a data collection tool yeah so let's look at uh, google forms uh, just go in your browser and type in google forms then it will give you a site like this yeah so you just go to you just click google forms and it will bring you google forms uh so here this is the google form builder you know you just tap blank form a new form 
and start to develop your tool. Yeah, so you can give a title description to your to your tool. Maybe I can give uh, this is a uh, this is a survey. about the application of electronic healthcare records system in health facilities. Yeah, so this is just uh, a title to your form. You just give a title to your form. Maybe let me uh to your form it can be any anything you're doing. So let me just uh give this. This is like an example of our our form. So let me give it a title of uh, example. So if you want to add a question, Google uh, will bring you this uh, title of your question. Uh, first, I'm going to just do demographic data, which is uh, can uh, put a name of the interviewer. Interviewer. And under here, you have a range of selections where you can select whether it's a paragraph, a short answer, multiple checks, drop down, a grid box, or that. Yeah. So I'm going to put short answer. Yeah, then you go still here and add. You just tap on the plus sign to add a question. Uh, then I'm going, I'm going to put name of the uh, respondent. So I'm going to put a short answer. Then you add. Um, the date, date the data has been collected to bring automatically date. Yeah, and this is going to be entered. So you can make this uh, for data validation. Can make this uh, uh, fields required so that when someone doesn't skip that question, then you can put uh, sex of the respondent, sex of the respondent. Just add, and this is going to be a mode per choice. So you put option one is um, a female. Option two is I'm a male automatically, and this is also required. Uh, then you can just add. Uh, Maybe name of the facility. So Google still knows some of these are automatic, so it's a short answer, short answer, and I make it required so someone doesn't have to skip uh, that question uh, how long have you been working how long have you been working in the facility so this is a multiple choice uh, i can say less than one year than a year and add another option one two three years 
and just keep adding options. Three to five years. Add another option, five to ten years. And add another option, you just tap there, ten years. And above. And you still make this required. Yeah. So there we are working with the multiple question, multiple choice answers. That someone has to tick one answer. Yeah. So that's how you do that in uh, Google Sheets. If it's a uh, short text, you just select short text under these icons. It brings this. Uh, if you want to add the title description to the question, you just tap here and add. You want to add an image, it's just up here and add a video or something, you just up there and add. You got to break them into section, you add, you add it there. Uh, then if it's a drop down box, you can still, uh, depending on the type of question, you you want to to create, you just select drop down box. Yeah, option one, option two. So let's say, have you heard of the EHR? Yes. Option one, yes. Option two is a no. Oh, maybe. Some of these uh, Google brings them automatically, but that's how you navigate uh, Google Sheets. Uh, then after, if you're done, you can uh, tap here and preview your form. Yeah. That is a form. This is just for for learning purposes, but you can do DPIs according to the form you're developing. Yeah, and you can still just go back here. For example, and uh, if you want to send and share your form, you just tap send. Can tap any email. We get the link. The link is here. You can shorten the link. Copy the link and share it to, to people you want to enter or fill in this questionnaire. We can still send via mail. So you can just enter email addresses. Just enter mine for learning purposes. And you send and Google sends that form. So when it's filled, you will see the responses here. You just tap on the responses. So there are zero responses so far. In settings. So you can link this to sheets to analyze your data. Or Google has also Google Google Forms has a short analysis. It can give you just uh, summarizing. But in visualization, you can do that in Excel or Sheets or other softwares. So that's it today about our digital tools. I'm a teacher, if you're interested in classes, I teach uh, Koboko Toolbox, I teach SPSS, I teach you deeper on the Google Forms and Sheets, if you're interested, yeah. So just uh, uh, comment in the in, uh, uh, comment section below or I'll put a mail if you're interested but the, the classes are at a small fee yeah I can train you in that thank you very much that has been it about our uh, uh, digital M&E tools we can use for our project sustainability thank you